Hello everyone, welcome to GED. Today we have some roasted red pepper dip, some garlic naan, and we're talking about how mental fortitude is key. So guys, this is actually an amazing, amazingly cheap red pepper, roasted red pepper dip, and some garlic naan from the store. Guys, look at this dip. Oh my gosh, it is just amazing. It's a superb dip and super low calorie because it's peppers. Ooh, spicy. The naan's got tons of garlic on it. All around, a super cheap, super simple snack slash meal. This is definitely a meal because there's tons of this. It's fiery, it's spicy, it's got all the qualities of a good life, right? So today's conversation, mental fortitude. And what do I mean by mental fortitude? Well, it's simply having the endurance mentally to keep up what you're doing. For example, I'm studying networking. I'm studying a language, Japanese, which I kind of know, but I'm still studying, still learning. I'm trying to lose a little bit of weight. I don't need to lose a lot of weight, just a little bit. I'm trying every day to deal with a crazy toddler, my kid. And when you mix up all these things that I'm doing, not just those four things, but you know, more outside and inside and everywhere, it's rough. Mentally, it's taxing, it's, it's a chore. But every day, you have to wake up with a purpose saying, maybe today I'm going to study for four hours straight. Maybe today I'm going to go to the gym for two hours compared to your normal one hour. Maybe today I'm going to spend the entire day playing with that kid, having a great old time in in lieu of doing what I want. And you have to have that mental focus, that mental clarity. The fortitude to succeed in all your tasks. It's one thing that makes professionals and those that are above you, slightly better than you, is having the willpower, the fortitude, the mental clarity to get what you need to get done, done. Can you go to school, go to college, wherever you're going to go, and actually take the entire time to learn something. Not just dilly-dally, not just, you know, say you were there, but to actually truly sit there for hours on end and absorb what you need to absorb. Because in a way, your future depends on it. I would say a good 95% of people, yes, they go to their job, they go to their school, their college, and they try to acquire skills, to acquire knowledge, to acquire whatever they need to acquire, but they don't stick with it, they don't focus, they don't actually wholly, fully absorb what they need to be doing.
Those of you that know what I'm talking about, know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm not trying to be cryptic. But it's true. You have to buckle down. It's not a sermon. It's not a preach. It is a simple fact. And I'm actually going to remove this bottom naan because that is way too much naan for one meal, right? This bread is absolutely fantastic, by the way. The garlicness, the, the buttery, flaky, buttery, flaky naan. Check that out, guys. So good. Could have been toasted more. I do have a little bit of pink lemonade. Here's a perfect, perfect example of mental fortitude. If you're on a diet, if you're on an exercise regime, regimen, whatever you want to call it, uh, can you stick with it the entire time frame that you need to be on it? Could you do a seven day fast and not break mentally? Every time you see, smell, hear about food, read about food, see food on YouTube, whatever. Could you be your own hero when it comes to persistence? If you're on a vegan diet, a, I don't know, vegetable only diet, a fruit only diet, a fish only diet, it doesn't really matter. Do you have the willpower, the mental clarity to persist through, through the temptations? Most all of us won't, but those who do, they're the champions. They're the ones we look to, you know? They're the ones we follow on YouTube because they did it, they made it. Whether they lie about it or not, they're the ideal situation we strive for. Anyways, guys, remember to game, eat, and discuss. If you have a chance to pick up some red pepper dip and some garlic naan, it's a beautiful combination. And I hope you guys... Have a beautiful day.